In this screencast, let us see how we can create a Silverlight application which consumes Silverlight enabled WCF service to display data. The whole idea is to create a Silverlight enabled WCF service which gets data actually from an Earthwind database. We will also create a Silverlight application that consumes the service to get and display the data. Let's start creating the application. Go to the file menu, select new project. From the install templates, we will select Silverlight and the Silverlight application. Let us give a name for our application, Silverlight Data Display. Click on OK. Now we have this option, we will click OK here so that uh, ASP.NET web application also is created which will host the Silverlight application. Silverlight application is getting ready. Okay. So as you know, the first step here to display data is uh, we need to have a control. In this example, let me have a grid. Also, as I had mentioned in my last video, you can add a data grid directly from the toolbox or you can even add it by writing code. Just let me drag and drop a data grid here. This is how you can add a data grid control to your form or even if you want to do it manually, we can do. Let me try to paste some existing code here. Just delete it off. Okay. We'll open Notepad. I have some existing code. We'll copy that. Let's paste here. Okay. I'll set the height of the screen to 600 and the width to 1000 pixels explain this so what I have is a grid container within that I have one more grid and the height I have set it to 600 and the width to 1000 inside we have a data grid with the name DG customer and I have set the background row background color and the alternative row background color so I have also set the column width and row height and I just want to display all the grid lines so I have mentioned it as vertical all the headers I would like to display so headers visibility is all I have a border brush as you can see the border here I have set it to grey and the thickness I have mentioned it to 5 pixels I have mentioned the scrollers for both horizontal and vertical so just in case uh, we have more number more records we can have the scroll bars automatically enabled so now next we need some data to display so first what we will try to do is we'll add a link you to sql class so this we need to do it on your web application right click select add new item let me search for link you ok I have a link you to SQL class select it let me give an as DB data classes DB ok click on the add button Now the next important thing is you can actually add your tables in this class. So let me open the server explorer. In my case I have already a database connection to Northwind and as you can see we have few tables listing up here. So I will be displaying the customer details so I will drag on the customers table. In this example I need only customers table. Okay. 
let me save this ok so the data model is ready I'll close this so the next step is we have the user interface ready and we have a data model also ready so now the next thing we have to do is we have to create a WCF service for that on your web application you can just right click add new item in this let me select search WCF ok we have a silverlight enabled WCF service let me add that up so I'll give a name as silverlight enabled WCF service let me make it capsule ok I'll click on the add button ok actually what this service will do is this service will connect to your data model and pull the data for that we have to write the actual code in this case I'll have the code I'll remove this do work method which comes by default and I have to write my own method so what I'll do is I have a method already in my notepad I'll copy that paste it here ok I need to add a namespace ring system dot collection dot generic ok so what the method get customer does is it will connect to the data context which we just created that has the customer table and we are querying it through link queue to get all the customers and we are converting the customers to a generic list and we are returning it back to the calling method that's all we are doing it here nothing special as you can observe here we have mentioned the operation contract just because uh, this method will be visible for the consumers I'll click on save so the next part is you have the code ready to query your data model and return the customers so from the calling place we can add a service reference for that right click on that add service reference now let us add a service reference for the WCF service which we created We'll click on the discover services in solution you can see that it is listing the silverlight enabled WCF service which we just created let me expand that and you can see the service contract and the operation so get customers is the name of the operation for which we have written the code now let the name of the namespace be service reference 1 I'll click on the OK button okay. now in the silverlight application we have a reference to the WCF service and also we have the user interface which has a grid and in the web application we have the data model which actually points to the database and we have a WCF service that actually queries the data context and returns the list of customers so the next thing we have to do is in the silverlight application as we already have a reference we need to bind the data to the data grid for that expand the main page dot xaml and go to the main page dot xaml dot cs so this is the place where we need to write the code I have already some code written in notepad let me try to paste it here I'll copy this ok 
okay so what i am doing now here is i am creating an instance for the wcf service which i just created and the first thing is i am attaching a event so that whenever the get get of get customers method is called and the operation is completed automatically it should call an event or it should fire an event so the name of the event i have mentioned it as dev service underscore get customers completed actually now i should write the event itself so let me open this we'll copy the code and paste it here so you can see here now what happens is when we run this code the get customers async method is called which asynchronously gets the data from the wcf service after that it will fire the event and in the event i am actually binding the data grid customer to the result so that uh, the data grid shows the list of customers so important thing here is firing up the event and setting the item so item source property for the data grid let us see how it works i'll run this expand this now you can see the output here i have a grid with the borders enabled and we have a consistent width for the columns which i had set in my xaml and we have vertical and horizontal scroll bars enabled and the data which you are seeing here is coming from the northwind database this data is pulled by a wcf service and this service is consumed by your front end sylvelite application in coming videos we'll explore more on doing database calls and doing the crude operations that's all for now thank you